In this video, we will start building a Shinto Tori gate for our intermediate series project. Before you watch these videos, it is recommended that you have followed my Blender Beginner and Intermediate Tutorial series. If you have already done that, or you are already experienced in Blender, then let's move on. We will also be using a wood texture for our 3D model, and also using Blender's Material Editor to our advantage in this creation process. I will put the link to this texture in the description. So I thought a Tory gate would be a good project to work on, as it is a bit more advanced than our barrel project from the beginner tutorial series, and it will require using more of Blender's functionality to create it. Just a quick lesson before we begin. Tory gates are a traditional Japanese gate found most commonly at the entrances of Shinto shrines. Their purpose was to mark the entrance from the world of the mundane to a sacred space. With that little lesson out of the way, let's get started. So I'm going to use a reference image for this project, which was this one right here. You can move reference images inside a blender for easier visibility. To do this, click Shift A to bring up the add menu, and then image reference. Then we can navigate to the folder where our image is. Let's press N to bring up our sidebar and then zero out all of the rotation transforms on the item tab. I'm also just going to delete the cube, light and camera from our scene to clear it up a bit. Now let's rotate our reference image by 90 degrees on the x-axis and then on the z-axis by 90 degrees. So we now have something we can reference roughly. We will aim to make a general Tory gate for this video, however it will not replicate this reference image exactly. For example, we will not be including this part of the Tory gate, as that may require diving into another software program. Before we move on, let's just save our file. Come to File and then Save As, and then save whatever folder you choose. I'm just going to name it Tory Gate underscore 01. Let's start building the middle columns here. I'm going to create a cylinder and then scale it up. And then just going to move it over here. I'm also going to apply a mirror modifier to our cylinder so that we can quickly replicate our edits to our second column. So with the object selected, let's add a mirror modifier and then mirror it on the Y axis. Now instead of messing around in the edit mode to get our point of origin in the right place, with the cylinder selected, come up here to Object, Apply, and Apply All Transforms. So if you look in the reference image, you can see that the columns get a bit smaller the further up they are. So let's do the same thing here. Go into edit mode, and let's create four loop cuts with Control and R. One, two, three, four. Left click and then right click. Now Alt click the topmost edges here. Click O to turn on proportional editing. And now let's just scale up our proportional editing circle and start scaling our mesh inwards until it gets a little bit smaller at the top. Something like that will do for now. Don't worry too much if it is not perfect, you can always change it later. Now let's add the small cylinders to the top here, which connect the columns to the head of the gate. I'm going to create another cylinder. Scale it down and move it on top of our column here. You can click 7 on the number pad to go into a top orthographic view to see what you are doing a bit better as we want it to be as central as possible.
Let's do the same thing with a mirror modifier. Mirror, Y axis, object, apply all transforms. Let's now save a backup of our file. Come to File, Save As, and let's call this Tory Gate 02. Let's now build the head of the gate. I always find that it is best to build the main larger parts of a model before you start going into the smaller details. Let's create a cube. And then scale it up a bit. And then place it on top of our columns here. I'm also going to orthographic view to make sure it sits perfectly on top of the columns. There is also another shape that sits on top right here. So let's build that. Let's just duplicate the cube we have with control C and control V, then move it up on the Z axis and then scale that up a little bit. Now, of course, these parts of the Tory gate are actually slightly warped. Go into edit mode on the top shape here and then add four loop cuts. One, two, three, four. Select this middle line here with Alt and click and make sure proportional editing is still on and move the lines down a bit on the Z axis. just until you get a nice warped shape. For the bottom shape here, we need to keep things a bit more squared off. Let's add our four loop cuts again, but instead, select the faces at the end and move them up a little bit. And I'll just move the cube down a little bit so that it still sits on the columns. So there is also a little bit of a slant at the edges here. So let's select these bottom edges at the ends here and then scale them in a bit. Let's do the same thing for the top part of the gate here. Select the edge and this edge here. And again, scale in a bit. Now let's create the top head of the gate. Duplicate the top shape here and then scale it inwards. Let's also make it longer. And in edit mode, select these bottom faces here and extrude down a bit. And now select the faces on one side of the extrusion and extrude outwards by one meter. So click E and then one. And do the same thing on this side. E, one. I'm now just gonna select these end faces. And move them down. I'm also going to turn on proportional editing and select these edges here and just move them up a bit. Now let's create these beams at the end here. With this mesh selected, 
create a loop cut just at the ends of the bottom part of the faces here. I'm just going to scale this out a bit more. And I might add another loop cut to the ends. And then select these faces, which is the second to the end. Do the same on this side. And extrude down by 0 0.1 meters. E and 0 0.1. We will now do the larger beam that sits just below the head of the gate. Create another cube. Now let's add the ridge at the top of this beam. Go into edit mode and select the top face and extrude up a little bit. Now select the new faces on the sides here and extrude along normals just a bit. And now scale on the X axis to bring the sides out a bit more but make sure proportional editing is turned off. Now let's create the mini roofs that sit on the top of our beam here. To do this I'm going to create another cube. Scale it down and place it on one side. Go into orthographic view just to see what I'm doing. I'm also going to create another small cube to place under this shape. Just create another cube. Bring this over here. Next, let's give this top shape a bit more of a roof shape by adding a loop cut in the middle and moving this upwards. I'm just going to join these objects with Ctrl and J with them selected and I'm going to use the mirror modifier technique again to replicate these objects onto the other side. Let's also duplicate this object and then put them on the other side. Because we applied all the transforms, the origin point has gone down to the middle here. So if I try and rotate, it's going to rotate it around the origin point, which is down there, which makes things a bit harder to work with. So for the moment, let's just remove the mirror modifier on this shape and then set the origin to geometry. I'm just going to rotate around by 180 degrees and then move this in to the column a bit more. Now let's apply a mirror modifier on the Y axis and then apply all the transforms. So our Tory gate is really starting to come along now. Let's just make another save backup and call it Tory gate 03. In the next video, we will continue working on the 3D modeling of our Tory gate.